Team, keep it clean. Before we get into this video, I really got to commend y'all for um, for just making it this far. Uh, reason I say that is because we are literally five days away. One, two, three, four, five days away from watching the Ravens play football. And even though it is a preseason game, it's football. And, and that lets you know that it's officially, officially back. Like we already been back, but no, that now it's like officially official. Uh, and we get to see a lot of the backups in action. And while it is backups, it's still an exciting time because it gives you a nice reminder that football season is li literally right around the corner. Uh, and I do want to commend y'all and thank y'all for being so active on this channel, um, whether it be through the comment section, leaving a like on videos, sending in questions from subscribers, uh, agreeing with all the crazy things we have to say, disagreeing with all the crazy things we have to say. However you have contributed to this channel, I appreciate you a whole lot. I really do. And I thank you for always handling yourselves with respect, showing respect, showing love, uh, because that's what it's all about. Like we always say, I may have my outlandish football takes. You may have your super realistic, extra califragic, expialidocious takes. But all it's about is showing respect. We don't have to agree. We don't have to see things the same way. Um, but it's about showing respect. So I really appreciate y'all and I love y'all. And I hope that everything... Uh, is going really, really good for everybody watching. Um, now, with Lamar Jackson, it this was really no shocker. It wasn't a surprise uh, when Harbaugh said that Lamar Jackson was not going to be playing uh, in this first preseason game. Um, really based off of last year, and, and I, I know it's, it's tricky because based off of last year, I wouldn't want to play no starters in no preseason game. Based off of last year. But then I know at the same time, it's like, hey, well, this is this, this a little, little chance for them to build chemistry and whatnot. And it's not a guarantee that just because they play in the preseason that they'll have chemistry. I mean, they can get all that chemistry in training camp. Like, there have been times before, there have been teams that have not played one single snap of preseason yet, like starters. And they've been fine in the regular season. So that would be what I would do for the Ravens because I just I just wouldn't want to take no risk. But at the, at the same time, I know some people, hey, you can't live in fear and da-da-da-da-da, and Ravens shouldn't be all scared and whatnot. If something's going to happen, it's going to happen, which is true. But I would rather just hold out all the guys. But I'm, I'm sure they're going to end up playing at some point in time. Like Nick Boyle. Nick Boyle said, hey, nah, I got to play me some preseason games this year because um, he really want to get back in the groove of things and the thick of things because he has missed a lot of time. Um, but anyway, Harbaugh mentioned uh, Lamar Jackson, uh, Mark Andrews, Marlon Humphrey, Justin Houston, Marcus Williams, and he said there's going to be more too. There's going to be more starters. He said the experienced starters, they're not going to really, they're not going to be out there this first preseason game. And I got zero problem with that. No problem with that at all. Now, when it comes to Lamar Jackson, uh, one of the biggest reasons why I think this is a smart move is because his, his starting offensive line is not even going to be out there. At least... Two out of the five starters will not be playing. They won't be out there. Um, and that's Ronnie Stanley and Tyler Lindenbaum. Ronnie Stanley, who knows when he'll be back? Tyler Lindenbaum, um, who knows when he'll be back? Uh, I know John Harbaugh, he did give an update. Oh, he, he'll be out one to two weeks. First, because first, now, th this is why I'm a little concerned with this. Cause this is a little bit scary. Um, first, he went down. And they were like, oh, well, he, he may return tomorrow. It's, it's nothing. Ain't no, ain't no big deal. He'll get an MRI. He'll probably be back tomorrow. Let's, let's see. Then they said he got the MRI. Then they said, okay, he'll be out one or two weeks. And it's like, okay. Okay, cool. One or two weeks. All right, all right, all right. But then um, Harbaugh mentioned that and shout out to Jeff Zrebik for the report. He said, Harbaugh mentioned that uh, they may need to bring in a center uh, with Linderbaum being down. Um, so that part right there, that part right there, it worried me a, a little bit. It gave me a li little bit more worry because, and I know teams, Ravens do it, teams do it. Well, they, they'll sign guys just for the right here, right now, and it'll be super quick. Uh, they can sign guys and then cut them a couple days later. They can cut them a week later, two weeks later. It happens all the time. But the fact that they would consider signing somebody, that just worries me just a bit. Because um, they, they do got Patrick McCarry. And, and again, when, when you have to have somebody fill in for your starting center, then that does take away from another roster spot. Uh, so I get that. 
Um, but they, they got Patrick McCarry, they got Tristan Colon, um, Castillo, and um, oof, I guess it is kind of thin at the center position when I think about it. Who else do they have at center? I don't know. Okay, well, I guess it makes more sense then. I guess, see, I, just, I guess I just had to talk it out. See, this, this turned into a, a Ravens fans uh, therapy session. Especially, again, remember last year. Last year scarred and scared all of us like crazy. It really did. Um, but with Linderbaum, man, um, well, with, with Lamar not being out there, again, no, no shocker. Because, again, his starting offensive line, they're not going to be there. They're not going to be there. Uh, so with Linderbaum, with him being injured, oh, man, this, like, this sets him back a, a bit. Not to say that he can't come in and just pick up where, wherever he left off during training camp. Uh, but it does certainly set him back a, a bit because depending on how Ravens play this thing out, obviously, first and foremost, depending on when he comes back. If he comes back in a week, then he could play in the second preseason game. He could. We'll see, though. Um, but if he came back in a week, then he would be set to play in a third one. But if he came back in two weeks, then that would be pushing it. It'd be pushing it. I mean, it, if he came back in one week, it'd be pushing it for, for him to play in a second game. But if he came back in two weeks, it'd be pushing it for him to play in the third game. But we'll see, especially with it being preseason. I just feel like they would hold him out. Because, again, you know, Ravens, like, this year, they, they seem to be taking, like, the extra step uh, when it comes to uh, being cautious. And that's smart. That's smart. You, you, you got to be cautious, especially because, again, you suffered big time last year. You, you suffered really, really bad last year. Um, now, uh, injury news, it wasn't all bad um, because Devin DuVernay, he came back. So that that eased my mind uh, a lot because Devin DuVernay, I think they said he had, what, a thigh bruise? Um, and I, I was there for that, um, that collision with him and Chuck Clark because it happened at the, uh, at the open practice. Um, the ball was obviously intended for Devin DuVernay. Uh, he went up to try to catch it. Chuck Clark went up to try to intercept it, and, and I saw their knees like collide. And I was like, "Ugh!" But I was still watching. You know how people like they they, they don't want to see no car crash, but they see it and they they close their eyes, but they still watch. Then they start driving off. So, but anyway, um, Chuck Clark popped right back up. Devin DuVernay, he was on the ground for a couple of seconds. Then he finally got up, and he was kind of limping a little bit. Then he went off to the sideline. So, but it's, it's good to see that he's back. Mark Andrews today. Ooh, don't be scaring nobody like that. See, Harbaugh's scared. You could tell Harbaugh's scared. He got, he got that fear. Last year, it scared and it's, it scarred Harbaugh too. See, it ain't just fans that are affected. The coaching staff. The, I mean, John Harbaugh, the leader of the team. He's scared too. Head coach. Because Mark Andrews, he had a little scare today. Where they said he kind of, his foot like went into the ground like awkwardly or something. And then he was down for a little bit. Got up. Wanted to go back in. But Harbaugh said, no, no, no. You're done. You're done. Rest of the day. You're done. You're finished. No more. So Harbaugh, Harbaugh was like, man. He said, no. I mean, we, we ain't draft no receiver. We ain't sign no receiver. We ain't trade for one. And I know a lot of these, some of these Raiders fans, they, they tired of hearing about receiver this and receiver that. I can't have Mark Andrews go down. He wasn't taking no risks, man. He like, oh, no, I, I, uh, 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 I ain't having that happen. So I, I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you not one bit, baby. Um... But yeah, man. So it's uh he also did talk about um the fact that they could use another uh cornerback because the young guys are getting all the reps. Now, another injury that also happened today. Whew, so much been so busy today. Um Steven Means, who they just signed like a month ago, edge guy, they said he went down and he never returned. Um so that his status is already up in the air. Um Ravens Looking super thin on that edge. Bowser still ain't back yet. Um, just lost Vince Beagle uh, for the year. And I know was, I saw a lot of people in the comments like, oh, well, it's Vince Beagle. Oh, he wasn't going to be a starter anyway. He wasn't probably going to play much anyway. And he, um, and I, I did not realize that the last two seasons, and then including this in the last three seasons, uh, he ended up... Being ended, ending up on injury reserve, 
So all of his last three seasons have ended prematurely. Either the last three or the last uh, three out of the last four. One of them two. But anyway, it's, it's been a pattern. Uh, but it still sucks because, again, they said that he was looking good. They said he was uh, getting some starter reps in there. And that didn't come from the Ravens. That came from reporters. You know, Raven, Ravens, they, 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 they boost anybody up. But the reporters who don't work for the Ravens, but they cover the Ravens, they were like, hey, he, he was getting some starter reps. So, um, yeah, they're just thin, man. They're super thin there. I, I just wonder how Malik Harrison, how he's going to fit into all of this. Because I am a bit concerned for Malik Harrison. Because they, Harbaugh did say, all right, we're going to try him at inside linebacker. But we're also going to try him at outside linebacker. And when they start experimenting with you like that, they don't really have a role for you like that. They don't have a clear-cut role for you. So that can be a very scary territory. Um, but I, I just hope he ends up carving out a role for himself uh, and things end up working out. I'm, I'm still hoping for uh, a little thunder and lightning with Patrick Queen and Malik Harrison. I'm hoping that uh, with Patrick Queen, it, it, it turns on with Malik Harrison too. I think with Malik, it'll be more of an opportunity type of thing because he really hasn't been out there that much. Patrick Queen's been out there, but um, it's tackling has been his, his biggest issue, in my opinion. Um, he's got the explosiveness. Um, he got the burst. He got the quickness. He got some good speed. Uh, so he, he can fly all over the field. And again, the game is going to continue to slow down for him, him being in year three. He's going to start understanding things more and more. But just the, 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 the arm tackling, going for the big hits, if, it, if he would just get a lot uh, significantly better at tackling, and I think that will come with, uh, with the system too, with him being able to sort of calm down in the system, him sort of being able to breathe and, and really understand what his assignment is and not try to do this, that, and the third, but understand what he has to do and then get, do a good job of doing what he has to do. Because when you, when you understand what you got to do, that makes life so much easier. And whatever it is that you're doing, when you understand your assignment, oh, man. Because if you don't understand your assignment, <laughs> you're going to be out here looking lost, man. You don't understand what you got to do? Ooh. And we done all been there before. I've, I've, I've been there a lot of times. Not understand what I'm supposed to do? Oh, whew, that, would, that would be me all day. But when you know exactly what your role is, you know your responsibility, then you can master it. And that allows you just growth as a person. Um, and then speaking just in football terms, that allows you growth as a player, too. You can get better in your particular role. So I'm, I'm still holding out hope that Patrick Queen and Malik Harrison, they could be all little lightning and thunder. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, team, keep it clean. Thank you very, very much. I love y'all very, very much. I appreciate y'all very, very much. And we are out.